Protests continue today in Nashville in support of gun reform and in support of those three Democratic lawmakers who are the subject of expulsion hearings. You ban drugs! You ban drugs! Today, about 150 people, many of them parents and students, march to the steps of the Tennessee State Capitol with signs, many chanting things like, this is what democracy looks like. And there were a lot of tears as they honored victims of school shootings. They expressed their anger about what they say is a lack of action on gun control in the wake of the tragic school shooting here in Nashville, where a gunman killed six people, including three young children. Take a listen to one young woman who says she's genuinely afraid that she could be next. I go to school every day in fear that I will die, that my brother will die, that my friends will die, that my cousins will die. This is not fair. I don't want to die at school. During her visit to Nashville on Friday, Vice President Harris met with lawmakers about gun reform. She said the underlying issue was about protecting our nation's children as she called for red flag laws and background checks. She also voiced her support for the three Democratic lawmakers who were the subject of expulsion proceedings by the majority Republican legislature. These leaders have to get a bullhorn. <laughs> Well, you know what? That happens in a democracy, too. On Thursday, Republicans successfully voted to expel Representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, both of them black, who Republicans say broke decorum by holding a protest in support of gun reform on the House floor. The votes to expel Democrat Gloria Johnson, who is white, narrowly failed. The outcome has led to accusations of racism, claims Republicans say just are not true. How our body works, how the Tennessee General Assembly works, it works with order. It works with rules. You take order and rules out, it doesn't work. President Biden also met privately with the two expelled Democrats. He thanked them for their courage and leadership on gun reform and invited them to visit the White House in the near future. In Nashville, Charles Watson, Fox News.